Treats, baby. This your main man, keep it clean. Ray, coming back with another vid. Holiday season still. See what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Open this thing on up. I know what it is. I really do. Been waiting on these things to come in. This is not a sellout item. Oh, no. uh -huh. A little off white action. You know what I'm saying? Collab with Nike. Y'all already know what time it is, man. I got some out for you once, man. This is the mid action. The mid action. These right here are the Grim Reef. Cool little box. Brick ball. Aesthetic. All the all white hand logo, all the good stuff. R.I.P. Virgil. Great designer. Ooh, really, 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 there we go, first impressions. Let's get it. I'm gonna say this off real. I'm not an out for the money guy. But for some reason, I am feeling these joints right here. I'm feeling it. And the reason why I ain't no out for one guy because man, in my generation kind of grew up wearing out for one. We kind of played them out. So it's not like out for ones is an ugly shoe. They actually cool in the shoe. It's just sometimes you get fatigued by a silhouette. It's kind of like how some people are with Jordan Wars, and I think it's starting to get like that with dunks. That's why you see all you see about dunks sitting at one point, they were kind of selling out. But now, when I mean, you go on site, you just get people just buying them, trying to resell them, hike the price up 100 plus bucks. But now you just get them at retail, and out for ones, it's kind of like that silhouette for me. Now, what I like about this shoe is it's a little different. I actually like the Alpha One Mids better than the Lows, just in, like throughout time. Um, the Lows never really been my thing. I like a few of them, but I grew up on the Mids. Um, and nowadays, most people hate anything that's mid or highs. They, they prefer Lows. Well, I think only people prefer like Jordan High, especially like if they do the right color. So. Let's just go ahead and get into the details of what's going on. You got this Grim Reaper skull everywhere, all over the sneaker. Kind of like airbrush into the leather. The leather is, feel like some cool leather. These are not a sellout. You can actually get these on the off-white website. So you got that going on. Um, I'm a, I like this album. I like, I like this added album to the mix. Um, give it a cool look. Uh, uh, midsole is not your typical Air Force One midsole. They got kind of like these little grooves and wave patterns. Even like the bottom got like these little different little vibes. But your standard Air Force One, y'all know what it is. Then you add the spikes to the joint. A lot of people not fans of the spikes. Uh, I actually like them, even though I know they're going to fade away over time. So yeah, I'm, I'm into all that. You got you. Now for one, Vibrant Org and all that all white stuff that's always on the sneakers. Um, you got your lime green laces, neon green, whatever you want to call it, Volt. So yeah, you got all that going on. Man, that kind of made the shoe. The laces to me made these pop between the laces and this little tag right here because I don't know what other color you could have used to kind of set these off. I think that kind of set them off. I appreciate what Virgil was trying to do here. Um, I think he did a great job. I'm not sure if these was going to ever release, if he didn't pass, but I guess they're trying to release a lot of uh, 
his creation in honor of him, which is cool. Um, if these was hella limited, people probably be all over them. But I'm sure there's plenty to go. For me, this is one of them sneakers that when you put them on, people gonna be looking at your feet trying to figure out what's going on. I like that. That's my that's my type of thing. Um, I'm gonna strap you. Let's see what's going on up under here. You got your little uh, lace lock in here, which is cool. Got like your black little whatever you call that. That's on some of the off white dunks and all this stuff. Shoelaces. You got your Air logo. Nike Air logo. Different style text. But yeah, man. Um, cool shoe. Cool shoe. Black Nike check. I wonder if they would get that Nike check with uh, like a silver or another color. I wonder how, how that would have came out. But no, nah, all in all, though, I'm enjoying these. Uh, you got extra laces? Don't seem like no extra laces in here. But that's okay. Don't seem like no extra laces. Let's put out some extra stuff. See what's going on here. See if I can take out the insole. If it's glued in there, it is what it is. I ain't gonna mess with it. And it seems like it's glued in there, so I ain't gonna mess with it. So yeah. Tell me what y'all think. I'm gonna try these things on feet. Do y'all look on feet look? I think what I did. Did you make it these up? 12 and a half? I hope I did. I hope I got it on Twitter. Let me see. Yep, got it in 12 and a half. That's what I'm going to do kind of run big, in my opinion. I think these run big. Um, I was um, checking them out, uh, looking at some of the reviews on probably not just this colorway, but just the silhouette in of itself. But they kind of run big, so I might have to put like some force fields in them. Keep that thing from looking grumpy and mean. But yeah, this is that Cool little shoe. Cool shoe. Cool little ugly shoe. And when I say ugly, I mean like real regal wood. You know, gills, all that good stuff. But the design is definitely cool. And um, yeah, um, ain't much to say. You got your little tip go off white. Tag right there. I much to say, y'all know what time it is. Stuff ain't, this stuff ain't really new. Y'all have seen this stuff before. So, it is what it is. Yeah, tell me what y'all think about these. These ain't for everybody, which is cool. And that's what I like about the sneaker game. What's for me might not be for you. What's for you might not be for me. And on that note, y'all check out that on feet. This been your main man. Keep it clean, right? Y'all keep rocking with me. Peace.